This weekend's looking better and better. The chances of precipitation continue to recede, but not gone completely yet. When we take a look at our radar satellite composite, we can see the showers that came through the Parkersburg area this evening. In fact, showers is maybe a little bit light, just as the uh, the cell passes Parkersburg, you can see it flare here to yellow. That's heavy downpours that went through South Parkersburg, and we've been fairly calm and quiet since then. And as a result, we're looking at patchy fog developing here very shortly. The Highmark West Virginia Skycam says we're at 69 degrees, 93 percent relative humidity. The winds are calm and the pressure 29.90 inches and steady. Looking at our current temperatures, we're pretty close here. 69 in Columbus and Parkersburg, 68 in Charleston, 67 in Athens. Calm conditions rule at this point, and when we we look for the 24 hour temperature change. We're still about three or four degrees warmer than we were yesterday at this same time. No particular radar echoes of concern here. Uh, one cell crossing from Vinton County down into Meigs County and down to the south. But other than that, this is the remnants of circulation around a low pressure center that has wandered up the, the eastern seaboard and still scoops moisture off the seaboard and into the New England states. But will it have enough strength to wrap it around into our area? It's looking weaker and weaker as we go. Now, that doesn't mean there won't be some moisture and possibly some showers that develop on on Saturday, but they're going to be brief and kind of pop up. Uh, hard to say exactly where, but it looks like we're going to be avoiding most of them until we get into the evening and then there's only one or two. Your eye is drawn to the system that's coming in from the west. It certainly looks like as it arrives Sunday morning, it's going to fizzle out before it delivers any big punch to us. So the allergy alert says low, low pollen levels today and tomorrow will rise just a little on Sunday, but not uh, by much. Tonight, lingering showers, 62 for the overnight low. Tomorrow we get up to 80 with some scattered morning showers. As we look at the extended forecast, there's about a 42% chance of that. Maybe even a rumble of thunder in a few spots, but just a little on the warm side for Sunday. Looks like storms starting our work week Monday and Tuesday will be relatively cool to begin with, but back to the 80s by the time we get to Thursday and Friday.